Hey -o, everyone, Unfit Chaos here, and for this video from the Season 5 Preview, we're just going to go over the Battle Pass. Let's get started. Alright, let's start with the disclaimer again. As I said on my previous videos, this is from the Season 5 Preview event put on by Modot Games. I am a content creator for them, so I am bringing this to you from getting access to the server by them. So deal with that relationship as you wish. On top of that, this is the preview event on the test server. So a lot of the text and things inside of it can change or rebalance before the actual season comes out. So also keep that in mind, especially if you're watching this down the road. So with that, let's talk about the battle pass in season five. So like previous seasons, it's pretty much the same. You're going to have your battle pass and your standard season progress. So the battle pass to gain access to it, you have to buy a battle pass through season, or you can get the one that gives you the extra progress right away. So the top is going to be battle pass and the bottom is like normal people who play for free. So right off the bat, you're going to get the new Barsian Royal Armor attire, as well as your assistant of travel which gives you all that extra progress like before with this season there's actually two currencies that are going to be available first off is the standard currency like normal and as you see you will get that coin of conqueror to buy your typical stuff in the seasonal store you also have a lot of your similar things you have your treaties bronze your basic artillery honor and then like your memoirs for stuff that is a little bit newer as far as versus last season uh, you do have, once you get higher up at 20, the new Archon Suns banner, as well as you'll see the return of the mercenary attire boxes. That was great to see again. You do have new emotes such as the squat, so tea bags will pursue. And then you will have a couple other new ones. We do have Sad, where he goes down onto his knees and smashes the ground with his fists. You do have as well your new unit attire, the Archon Suns banded plate as well as the new title, which I believe that is going to be different in the actual season versus which one we have on the test server. You do also have the catapult as your legendary for hitting tier 60, which uh, is not as nice as the Great Bombard personally, but it is still a nice free legendary artillery. So you get a lot of the similar stuff, your powdered silvers, your treaties, as you continue up through. 70 is going to be your Archon set horse attire as well as the unlock for your weapon attire for the season. As we progress up, your next unique item is actually going to be your charge emote at 85, as well as your fall down emote at 90. Obviously the last big one is going to be the new tier 100 attire that uh, is very much a love hate from the community that I've seen. So once you get above 100, this is where some of your other changes are going to happen. At 101, you will get your first set of chalices. And then on top of that, you're going to continue with Coin of Conquerors like you normally would. The big thing is this not only goes up to 200 like normal, but after 200, you will actually get only chalices up to 300. For those of you who play the game a lot, you will get all the way up to 300 now on the battle pass. So what exactly are the chalices? So the chalices are a new currency that is going to go alongside the original currency we typically get. What chalices are is a currency to unlock legacy attire from back currently for this season from season one. So they're all a bunch of different season one attires that have been recolored or reworked to be a little bit more unique and allow the people who have the originals to still have a unique experience with them. It's a really nice way for them to add in some extra uh, grind for those that want it and also allows those of us that weren't around for previous seasons to get our hands on some of these different styles. So it's definitely something I really like. On top of that, there is a limited number of currency you can obtain through the battle pass, but they do give you the ability that if you say don't want to unlock a whole bunch of the weapon attires, you can actually just unlock chalices. So you can buy them with the original season currency and then go through and get your season one attire. So I hope this video helped you get a general idea of the battle pass for this upcoming season and what you can expect to unlock and what you can expect to get out of the store with the new attires. 
If this video helped you out, please hit the subscribe button and like button. That way you can see more season five content as it comes out. If you have questions or if there's anything you would like to see me test while I have access, please comment that down below, comment it in the Discord or a Twitch stream at 12.30 a.m. Eastern, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I hope to see you all on the battlefield. Goodbye. Yes. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>